Hi, this is John, and welcome to Light of the Scripture, protecting you against the woke mindset of this world, the evil mindset of this world, with the Word of God, with the Bible. Today we're going to look at Romans chapter 8, verse 1. It says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, uh, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Do you walk after the flesh, or do you walk after the Spirit? Uh, that's a, a good question. And a lot of people don't even know what that's referring to, so we're going to try to, to clue you in on that. And um, said here, there's no condemnation. That means you're not condemned by God. So if you're walking after the flesh, then you are under God's condemnation. Very, very serious situation to be under. And uh, but they say it says here, there's no condemnation to those that are walking in the spirit. Now, uh, you might ask, how does a person end up walking in the spirit? And what spirit is that referring to? Uh, there's, you know, there's drunk people that go to the liquor store to buy spirits. Is that what it's talking about? No, no. Any, uh, one reason they called those uh, alcoholic beverages spirits is because um, it's like a, you had an outside force controlling you sometimes when you were on them. And uh, it uh, was, you know, kind of evil. That A lot of evil would occur with people that got drunk. And uh, so uh, you uh, need to have a good spirit in your life uh, that is, uh, you know, providing uh, good things for you instead of driving you out of your mind. And uh, um, we uh, look to the Holy Spirit uh, to uh, give us uh, sanity and to uh, uh, give us uh, the proper direction and the comfort that we need in life. And, uh, well, good Christians do. I'm having an infestation of ants. They're just everywhere. I'm, I'm being distracted by them. But... Uh, <laughs> um, we should walk after the Holy Spirit in our life. And uh, we get the Holy Spirit whenever we believe on Jesus and we uh, repent of our sins and we receive him as our Savior and Lord. When he comes into our life, that's when the Holy Spirit comes into our life. And uh, uh, God, God, remember, there's just one God. Uh, so whenever uh, you receive God into your heart and into your life, uh, you receive the Holy Spirit. You also receive the Father. And uh, you receive the Son. Uh, the Holy Spirit is also referred to in the Bible as the Spirit of Christ. And um, so, uh, uh, now walking in the Spirit means that we're listening to the Holy Spirit and doing those things that the Holy Spirit has inspired uh, that are in the Bible uh, for us to, you know, give us direction. And then, then you know, God communicates with people who are born again. Uh, the still, small voice communicates with us of the Holy Spirit. And then we can actually be guided by the Holy Spirit away from sin and into proper uh, behavior and proper Christian living. And uh, the Holy Spirit guides us uh, to protect us and to keep us uh, safe. Uh, spiritually and physically. So uh, we need to be walking in the Spirit's step. Uh, that means that we're in step with God whenever we're walking in the Spirit. And uh, if you're not born again, you can't do that. So uh, you have to actually uh, put your faith in Jesus Christ, and you have to repent of all your sin, and uh, you have to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And then you receive that gift of the Holy Spirit. And then he can uh, enter you. And he can actually start to give you direction in life. You might say, well, I, f I feel very aimless in life. I walk around without a lot of direction. But uh, just like these ants that are running all over my table here. But um, there is direction that can be given to us by the power of God. 
if we seek him and if we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. This is John with the light of the scripture encouraging you to get deep into the word of God and to let the word of God get deep into you.